Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, and today I'll be showing you how to use tweens in your animations. So what is a tween? Well, um, people who have been using the Wick Editor for a little while, or have been animating for a little while, probably know how to create frame-by-frame -frame animations. And um, that's when, you know, we just draw something on the timeline, or draw something on our canvas, um, add a new frame to our timeline, and then you know, just keep drawing frame by frame. Now while creating animations frame by frame is a great and perfectly fine way to animate, sometimes we want to save a little bit of time or be super precise with how our objects move around the screen. And that's where tweens come in. So I'm gonna create a uh, new project here. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a single object on screen. So let's draw a little, little box using the brush. And so here is, um, here's this little box that I've drawn. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tween to make this box start here and then end here um, in an animation. So it's gonna slide across the screen. Now I could totally do this using frame by frame animation, just adding a new frame and moving the box and adding a new frame and moving the box, um, kind of like this over and over and over again, but that would take a, a little bit of time and I might you know, not be too precise. So um, what I'm gonna do is first take my, um, take my frame and expand it to how long I want this animation to last. So this animation is running at 12 frames a second. I want this movement to be two seconds long. So I made this frame 24, um, 24 frames long. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is select the starting position and create a tween. Then I'm gonna select the ending position and create another tween. So now if I move my time, my playhead, nothing is really changing here. And you'll notice that there's this little bar connecting these two tween handles back and forth to each other. Um, but if I go to the last frame, I'll be able to actually move my object to its final position. And watch what happens when I scroll this um, playhead. Wick fills in the blanks. Now, if I play this animation, the square moves right across the screen. Now that's really cool, but um, it's just movement. But we're able to do this with any type of transformation. And if you look in the inspector, the inspector has all sorts of transformations we can use from position to size to rotation to opacity. Um, so let's try all of those. So I'm going to rotate and I'm going to scale my object. Um, and if I move the playhead, you actually see how I can make this tween work. It's pretty great. Um, so if I select my square again, um, let's make him 40, you'll see that now if I move the playhead, the opacity of that square will change as well. Pretty great. Now you've got a nice precise way of making um, uh, characters animate on screen. But what's another thing that we can do? So if I don't want it to move in just a straight line, I can add another tween in a different position. Um, you see, you see I, had, I added a third tween here, and I can just move this character kind of to another spot. So now you'll see we can constantly um, interpolate or figure out figure out where the tweens are, the in-betweens, um, for us. And so I can add as many of these um, as I want, one per frame. And so you'll see I have starts bouncing there, bounces there, and then shoots off into the sky. So that's is a, a fun and different way to animate from frame by frame animation. Um, that's how we use tweens in WIG. So that's it, that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you like this tutorial, give it a like. Um, shoot down in the comments uh, what types of tutorials you'd like to see next. Um, and if you'd like to support the WIC editor, why don't you check out our Patreon and become one of our patrons. Um, the donations we get from Patreon are used to directly support the uh, development of the WIC editor and help improve the free and open source tool that we all love to use. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next tutorial.